our intention is to get our students to think about how issues of, of uh, ethnic, racial, social, economic, um, linguistic, um, even sexuality, how those kinds of diversity can impact teaching and learning. And so the digital ethnography, it gives us a chance to really get at that by looking at learning contexts, both in the classroom and outside of it. What's nice about WordPress is that you can store Word documents on there, you can store audio, you can store video, and so I thought that would be a great, pictures, that kind of thing, I thought that would be a great um, avenue to store information as, as students collect those. Um, in addition to that, we would use a audio video um, um, uh, assignment through YouTube in which the student would reflect on certain kind of prompt questions to just again get them thinking about going into the site what are my expectations what are the kinds of assumptions that I make about the space and the learners within it we have a core belief statement and one of those one of the, the um, first areas there is we want people to be reflective we want them to be responsive and then we want them to be thinking about advocacy Reflect, respond, advocate. And I think the digital ethnography does a really great job of, of getting them into the space of how do I do all of that.